Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my binder for Jimin's first album, Face. Oh my god, I am so excited. I can't believe uh, we already are on BTS's like fourth solo uh, project right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, time is going uh, too fast. <laughs> But I'm so excited to be setting up for Jimin and uh, things are a little bit different for his album as well. He has a fan call event happening and everything so I'm like oh my gosh, uh, truly insane all around but I'm very excited about it. And by the time I post this video the track list will be out which I'm very very excited about. I'm very curious. I think people are banking on like seven-ish songs so I'm just very intrigued because I'm like, I don't know, it's gonna be so good, it's gonna be so so good. But let me get into the details of the album, all the protocols you get with the albums and everything, and then I'll also go over the pre-order benefits. Alright, so there is three different versions of the album, two CD versions and a Weverse version. I just open Weverse shop on like the thing that shows the, the full set because Weverse Global has a product benefit just for this set. But getting into it, for the two CD versions, uh, there's obviously going to be two different photo books. So one version, it's like a little bit darker and this one's a little bit like a, of a lighter grey and this one has the pink. I love the colour palette too, I just love a grey and pink. It's true, it's true, it's true. And then so here we have the photo books. The one version is called Invisible Face and the other version is called Indif Indefinable Face. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a mouthful to say every time. And then you've got the CDs, once again, the grey and the pink, I'm like obsessed with that. And then in each version, you get a set of three photo cards, which we love to see, I'm like a generous king. And they look like they're selfie photo cards too, so I'm like amazing. Uh, but they are, they look to have like the square edges and they have the text that is on the album on the back, like for Indigo. So I think it's going to be cute that's going to match and everything. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And yeah, I love the bags already as well. So there's going to be uh, three different bags like these. So you get one set in one version and the other set in the other version. And then you get uh, also a random photo card, one out of three. So if you wanted all three random photo cards, you need to buy three albums. And so in total for the CD versions, there is nine photo cards, which is so nice. Uh, I already made the uh, little templates. So if I got invisible face, for example, I would get all three of these and I would get one Roman card. So you get four photo cards in one album, basically, which is truly, uh, we love a generous king, right? <laughs> and then you also get a postcard, uh, each uh, version has one and uh, this looks like such a like soft like toned down concept and this one like is darker and I'm like oh my gosh um but I love that because this is like obviously like invisible face so it's like more like I don't know maybe like personal time kind of concept you know and then there's also like a large postcard which is huge it's uh 158 by uh, 224 so that's basically like an a4 format i think right and these are probably like half of that and yeah that's it for the cd versions now the weavers version so for the weavers version uh you have the outer box like this and then, uh, which looks like a makeup palette. Also, lots of people being like, oh my god, because obviously now Jimin is uh, a dual ambassador. So it's like, oh my god, if you like dual dropped a uh, Jimin makeup collab thing, that would be insane. And he would get me back in my makeup era. <laughs> and then uh, there's like a wrapping paper. It's like the packaging looks amazing, very luxurious. And then a little booklet and uh, the lyrics. This is why people are like, it looks like there's seven songs. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and people, well, I've seen like a couple moods on in Twitter being like, the second song looks like there's a lot of things going on. There might be a feature, right? But I mean, by the time you watch this, you will know. So uh, we can discuss that in the comments. But then there's the user guide. There's a QR postcard, which I love that it's like a natural postcard with like, 
um, a photo of him on the front right as well and I assume the QR code uh, at the back uh, because that is something that you can put away as well uh, I haven't figured out what I'm doing with bigger inclusions for BTS and solo albums but I might just do like a mini binder just for that and then a writing note which I guess you can write in it I don't know and then you get one photo card which is one random out of two so if you wanted both of the photo cards for the Wii version you would need to buy two albums so yeah all in all it's like a lot to uh to consider right and I'm gonna have two pages for Jimin's album which I only have two pages for Namjoon's album and I haven't even finished setting that up because I want to decorate and everything so yeah it's gonna be a bit wild but I'm very very excited uh in terms of proto benefits there's a lot of things going on so for a lot of the Korean shops like uh, Sinara, Yes24, uh, Music Plant, uh, Music Korea, they all have stickers as Pearl de Benefits. And then I believe Aladdin has a bookmark. And then in terms of photo cards, we have Weavers Global, which has three Pearl de Benefits. So basically to get the photo card Pearl de Benefit with Weavers Global, you need to buy a set of albums and you get one random out of two which is very evil so you would need to buy like two sets to get the both uh photo cards because they're random which we kind of hate to see and then if you buy the set that has uh the two cd version and the weavers version together all three of them you also get an early bird pre-order benefit which is holo and a selfie and you only get that uh, if you order by March 5th, I believe. I will add a little screenshot of every of the <laughs> of the Weaver uh, shop thing because yeah, it's a little bit uh, it's it, it's a it's a little bit of a lot. I, I won't lie. Weaver's US is actually the Weaver's US exclusive is actually a postcard. So I don't know if it's probably gonna be like for the astronaut and Indigo where. Like every shop that was like an exclusive postcard, whether it be in the US, in Europe, in Canada, anywhere, uh, they were all the same. So yeah, I think that in terms of the postcards, um, everything is going to be pretty similar if you say exclusive postcard. And then for the BTS Japan shop, which I always write down like with us Japan, but it's not, you don't actually go through with us to buy from the Japan shop. Uh, it's actually just BTS Japan shop, but yeah, so I ordered from there and um, you either get, if you get just like one version of the CD uh, album, you get a proto benefit, just the one photo card, but then if you get a set of both CD versions, you get that same proto benefit and an extra period of benefit, I think both are whole. So um, you know that these are gonna be sought after <laughs> uh, on Micro Japan. And then UMS also has a period of benefit. If you get just one uh, random CD version, you get a postcard. But if you get the set of both CD versions, you get a uh, photo card as well. So yeah, I think I went over all the possible pre-order photo cards and then yeah if you pre-order i know that was the case for weavers it was the case for uh the japan shop as well and i think it's the case with the ums too uh and i probably i don't i don't know if it's the case with the other shops i should have checked beforehand but basically you can enter a lottery for either a fan call or a signed poster which is very wild uh i so i ordered two sets from the japan shop because i'm doing it with my friend melanie she probably has posted her setup video too for this so you should check it out but uh basically she ordered on global with us global for me and i ordered on um the japan shop for her and we're just gonna uh, trade that but yeah so i <laughs> i don't want to do fan calls <laughs> i'm like especially with bts i'm like 
a fan call, I would just cry, would be a mess, like, I don't even, like, I don't want them to perceive me, like, I really don't, like, at all, but, yeah, so I was, like, uh, out of the question, but, yeah, I just, I was just, like, let me just see if we get a sign poster, why not, right, but, oh my god, I am rambling, let me, uh, set up my templates, so yeah, for Indigo, I have uh, two pages as well, but I still need to fill them out. I, I have a lot, I have some pieces on hand, but I still need to get like some stuff. Uh, I still need to get the UMS pub, which is, it's been a pain. I didn't pre-order from UMS because I was like, oh, it's going to be fine because like gin stuff wasn't too bad to get after the fact. Like it was a decent, like it was the price of the, of just buying the album, right? So I was like, well, I'll just buy it afterwards, but it's not even that, like, it is expensive to just get the pub, but it's also that, like, it just sells out so quick, I'm like, oh my gosh, mistakes were made, so <laughs> this was like, this, with, with this album, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the albums directly through my proxy, but yeah, okay, so, uh, the first page I'm gonna set up is gonna be the, uh, CD version for the cards, right, so, I'm going to put invisible face here. Yeah, I used to um to have little post notes and use the dragon shields for that, but I decided to uh do my own little new templates now. I just like it. It's just it's different and I think it makes it a little bit more uniform and then the indefinable indefinable face set but i am so happy for this album that we get a full like if you only wanted like the cd versions when or like you were like oh yeah i just want to do like a, a nine pocket for like each comeback which is kind of like my idea which was to um like get as much as i can within limits right because i'm not getting all of the lucky draws for everyone and everything right and even all the pubs, but yeah, um, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, yeah, I'll put the random photo cards in the middle, yeah, and then I'll obviously just do it however looks best in terms of aesthetic, <laughs> so um, that's the first page. Well, yeah, I remember when I was like, oh yeah, when BTS drops their, like, solo albums, I'm gonna be only getting like one version per member and then just collect the photo card that comes with that and call it a day and then collect everything for Namjoon and here I am collecting like every other pro benefit that exists but um it's okay because I love them so much uh how many photo cards do I have here one two three four five six seven eight okay so I'm gonna put the holo wait because hmm Okay, I'll put the holo here. I also don't know if I'm going to be collecting all of these pre benefits. I have, I, I obviously have these, obviously have the whole first page done, settled, and then obviously these are settled. And then right now, I only will have one random out of two photo cards. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be getting the second one or not. Uh, it will honestly just depend on, uh, how things go <laughs> and then uh with a shop japan i have both obviously so i'm gonna put them like these yeah this this is this is the same shop i just uh, wrote it different i don't know why and then ums i suppose there we go all right can i put ums in the middle just because it's different it's not the same thing <laughs> so i'm like okay but yeah i might have an, a, a buy like a couple buy videos coming up in march and april so maybe i will be getting like the uh, missing pops that i don't have ordered honestly if they're not too bad to get right and then i guess i'll just uh put something in the middle but if i get like an extra photo card or something or maybe i'll just get like one out of the two missing pubs that i don't have ordered, and then there will be like a seven pattern or something but yeah i mean that's it is this is video is pretty long too but i am so excited for jimin's comeback honestly or like album 
uh, I love the little TikToks that he's been posting, <laughs> doing the dance and everything. And uh, I think there was a press release also that said like the, the album would be uh, focused on dancing too, which I am truly so excited about. So yeah, uh, now that the track list is released, let me know which song you're claiming in the comments, I guess. <laughs> And I'll let you know too. But thank you so much for watching. I'll have another video soon about downsizing. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye!